Hello and welcome back to Empire Total War. And where we left off, um, we were besieging the Iroquois and, well, they have attacked us. So we uh, have got a little defensive battle, which is what we wanted. Now I'm going to bring our artillery just up to a slightly elevated position here. Uh, and then I'm going to position our... Well, are they better on... Mm, they might be better over here, actually. Ah, you know what? That's where we're going to chuck you. You're going to come over here. Beautiful. And then what I want to do is I want to position our infantry in a bit of a box. Because they've only really got a melee spam option. And we're going to use our cav just to scout. So we've got some armed tribesmen. Some, some Native American bowmen. So some pretty basic bog standard units over here. And, yeah, let's bring you guys over to here. We can get you to go as quick as possible. And then, yeah, let's try and uh, position a little bit. Uh, including with, yeah, another couple of you guys. Oopsie daisy. Let's, uh, yeah, like so. Just form some continuous fronts, and then I think what we'll do is we'll take you guys behind the flank and have you as some, uh, support. And, okay. So yeah, it's mainly tribesmen and, and some warriors, nothing sort of too crazy. We can uh, continue to just hold a very slight defensive position. And yeah, we want our artillery to be uh, really the arbiter of our success here. God. They are not happy unless they're chasing those cav. But they're not killing any of us, which is weird. Alright, go on. Open fire. Whatever. They're not going to open fire. Yeah, just, just run the cav the hell out of dodge. And then, yeah, unlimber all of our artillery. Don't move your way through there because you're going to get shot. Right, let's just do a, a quick charge. Uh, do you want to turn around and unlimber? There we go, that's better. Thank you. And wow, they have an issue. Oh, shit. Okay, so they don't do well with um, mass charges by the looks of it. Take off fire at will. Do uh, some damage over there, please, if you'd be so kind. Against those bowmen. Wow, that is shocking. Didn't expect that, actually. Right, 
Right, can you decide what you're doing, please? Like, seriously. Come on. Hit them. Don't care if you kill your own horses. Just fucking do it. <laughs> Whoa, mast volley fire. I don't like the fact that they're taking the amount of losses they are taking. Uh, ideally, let's try and uh, pull away from that. If we can. There we go. Beautiful. Overlapping fields of fire, uh, including a nice little tiny bit of help from our artillery, which has done the job. Uh, let's uh, try and shoot over there, please, with them. I think this is the point where we can probably straighten out our lines. About now. Let's bring both of you guys around. Over in this direction. Well, that's what happens when you bring, uh, you know, bows to a gunfight. I'm uh, sorry to say. Come on, open up. The answer is they do not have the best accuracy. <laughs> right, pull over there. And go over in that direction please. And then what we'll do is we'll take you around the flank. Along with this cav. Go on, give him a volley. Oh, beautiful. That's more like it. And over here, please. Oh, bad times. Right, after you. Let's get our general involved a little bit, and let's uh, hold fire with the artillery. Take you off fire at will, stop you firing. Everyone can stop firing. And we're going to get our uh, the backs of our guns a little bit wet while we uh, deal with these native bowmen. Let's take them out.
and yeah we're just down to the last couple of units now so not bad going at all and I think the last unit they had was their general right we'll end this battle heroic victory and wow we only lost 300 so that really was a heroic victory uh 312 kills, you know, shame that, you know, we lost the majority of that mounted tribal auxiliary cav, but we'll replenish them. Okay, so a small enemy raid that we dealt with. Uh, the Spanish did decide to attack, but luckily we were able to handle it, and yay, there we go. Finally finished you. Uh, let's grab, I think, ring bayonet for, for definite. Uh, no, not no, we don't want... Yeah, we want... Sorry. Right. You. Five turns. Perfect. You. Ring bayonet. Seven. Good. Yeah. Right. All of our units are replenishing. And we're going to move on. Finally, we're going to take Belgium. And... Were you the leftover? Yep, you're the additional cannon that we requested. Beautiful. We're, we're looking good now. We've got a solid little army. Let's uh, replenish you. And... Okay, so we've got... Okay, nothing much really here. Just a stupid mortar unit. I wonder if we were to... Uh, Let's try and do an auto-resolve. There we go. Killed what's left of you. And captured uh, Caracas, which is not bad. Another nice little town. Uh, we could build up the infrastructure, or we could just replenish our units for a turn. And I think a bit of replenishment is due. And then we can move on uh, New Granada, and then Panama. Now, we've got our army over here. Let's uh, move them up to Santa Domingo. Lay siege to it, and we're just gonna... Yeah, we're gonna probably just handle that. Let's have a look at our production stuff. So we can muck up that port. Raid some of their income here, just to make our own income a little bit better. And then we'll think about moving on Cuba. Now, yeah, there was a pretty sizable Iroquois force with a couple of generals. Okay. Uh, Chief's body... Um, fat free generals. Okay. And a mounted tribal gunner. But again, no muskets. But some warrior society and some medicine men. So these are some elite units for them. I wonder if they will take a surrender. Uh, well, it just said surrender accepted and then it didn't take it. Uh, um, that's weird and bizarre. Okay, well, and I can't end turn. Oh, hopefully that's not pre the fight. Okay, good. Luckily, it's uh, this battle here. So let's just continue the siege. Uh, we will lay once again some work on that. And then, as I say, right, trade route. Let's just hit save here this time. Let's uh, make sure it doesn't do it again. So, yeah, save on this. And, okay, so the surrender button doesn't work. Okay, let's just continue to lay siege to it. If we need to, we can uh, pirouette. But to be honest, even if these attack us... I mean, these are elite infantry, so they're going to be a little bit stronger. 
But, uh... Yeah, I would hope we would be able to defend ourselves relatively well over there. One more tar turn and then they will have been dealt with. And then we could think about upgrading the college with the money we've got left over. And to be honest, I think that's going to be best. Uh, in India, we're still making this place more and more Protestant. 34%. Yeah, we're up to 35% next turn, so we'll nearly become the dominant faith relatively soon. And wow, Mysore. Part of me wants to attack now. But, eh. How about no? Let's uh, end turn. And once again, we're being attacked over here. Now, again, I, to be honest, I don't want to fight this battle because it should be a relatively straightforward victory. But, um, you know, I can see why... The, well, I can't see why the game thinks they're going to win. They had triple this or quadruple it and they didn't vic win. But hopefully uh, Michelle Ball can uh, win this. But I'm going to do this one off camera. Okay, so we've got ourselves a new town down here. Now, I think we should probably get a church school and start making this place even more Protestant. Uh, I think that would probably be best. Uh, I can see that this is pretty finely poised. If we were to get involved over here, we might be able to shift it towards the, uh, the Mughals and also get some territory out of it. But I'm more bothered by this up here. So... We had a pretty decent victory over these guys, which is good. Um, we probably need to repair their crappy little town, uh, the horse breeder. Great. Now, uh, we've got you in place. Let's bring you back home and give ourselves yeah, another native musketman. Just try and do as much damage over here as we can whilst we repair our army. And then what we could do is we could move out you and your forces to meet up with them. Yeah, let's keep building up forces over here and then we can move to Fort de Childs if we need to uh, retake it. And yeah, I still want to uh, take out them over there, which would be good. And sadly, this army still isn't uh, fixed up, which is frustrating. Let's uh, lay siege, though. Uh, no, maintain the siege. Beautiful. Right, maintain the siege, and then let's have a look at what they've got. So they've got a mortar, but not a lot else. We're going to want to take Flanders, because we can convert some of these towns into schools. And it also moves the front line away from our own homeland. Uh, oh, France just took Cologne and the Rhineland, which is not very good. And yeah, we've got this army moving off towards New Granada. And then finally, it's just you. Now, we might as well let that carry on for as long as possible and how about over here what have you got waiting for us not a lot I would love to bring out this admiral's fifth rate and then smash it that would be beautiful but whether or not we can is a different question okay Right, we've only got three coins left, so I think we are at another end turn. Now that we are laying siege to the beautiful place called Brussels, which is modern day Belgium. And some very nice towns. We've got uh, Antwerp, uh, Gwent, Ghent, I think it's Ghent pronounced, uh, the Mass, and oh, Lux Luxembourg, which is apparently a part of uh, the Flanders region. Interesting. Right, let's end the turn.
Okay, and here we go. This is a proper battle. And I will see you, I think, uh, on the battle map for this one. Uh, nah, you know what? We'll end the episode here. And then next episode, we're going to do a proper full-on battle uh, against Alahajor um, Masias. Uh, we'll go with that. That will be the pronunciation. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thanks again. Bye-bye.